I fight against Mike Tyson. Oh man, <laughs> oh man. Dude, the amount of people that think I'm fighting Mike Tyson made me think I'm fighting. Following the series of events that have taken place recently, Concerning Mike Tyson, the fight being rescheduled was a better alternative to evade the many risks that would have emerged as a result of Mike Tyson having participated in the bout. The media platforms have recorded the events, each marking a point of significance as the boxing professionals made claims of how much the fight would have affected the physical fitness and even well-being of the former heavyweight champion. I did Jake off and I'm going to finish him. Just come to the fight and you'll see. <laughs> Day three, you still want to Since he took out to travel to Los Angeles, Mike Tyson hoped to ensure he made proper preparations and arrangements for the anticipated fight in Julie. Contrary to his expectations, it turned sour during the flight, which left the eyes of social media platforms and boxing professionals on the lookout. How credible is this fight? It's credible, but that's kind of where the fight. The fight world to me. Yeah. So growing up, you know, seeing Muhammad Ali and, and Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray and all the, 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 the great fighters back. Since the announcement of the fight, Tyson's supporters had a lot of anxiety and expectations driven towards seeing the former boxing icon take down Jake Paul with a few punches. As experienced in the previous fights Tyson had participated in the past, as it famously known, Tyson proved his boxing skill by preening heavy punches, which resulted in knockouts. But that happened while in his prime, predicting the possibility of winning the fight with Jake Paul leads a bigger puzzle. After the recent news about his well-being were revealed, even to boxing professionals, the situation of the fight became more unpredictable predictable as they took a number of wild guesses. If Mike was to survive the fight or not normally, it is expected that boxing is only for opponents who had a common rhyme in strength and power. However, unknown to the boxing professionals, figuring out why Tyson was allowed to participate in the fight is still another mystery to them taking down a great boxing icon like them. Mike Tyson was not a big issue of doubt to Jake Paul as it would be seen in other boxers, but to Jake Paul the fight was not a big deal even with the boxing records. Mike Tyson had tied to his name. Speaking of fighting, Mike Tyson announced on his IG that he will fight Jake Paul July 20th at AT and T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The fight will be broadcast on Netflix. Mike Tyson, 57 years old, however, unknown to Jake Paul, his opponent, was also in much anticipation of the fight and worked over everything on his way to get ready and face him in the ring from video footage. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul pro their strength and fitness as they anticipated to meet in the boxing ring. With no doubt, the ring would be the determinant of who is due after the furious knockouts in the ring, even with the sanctioned fight being approved by Texas Department of Licensing and regulations setting rules like the fight consisting of eight two-minute rounds instead of the usual three-minute rounds with the boxers wearing 14 gloves heavier than the standard gloves, the rules being set in favor of Mike Tyson. Jake Paul still considered knocking down his opponent. Tyson was the one who wanted it to be a pro fight. Mike got into training camp and called up people on my team and were like let's do a pro fight is Jake down Netflix was like let's make it a pro fight the dangers of licensing the fight was evident even before the fight took place with Mike Tyson having health complications during during his fight comments from other boxers were not less of a mockery as they seemed concerned on how the former boxer was allowed to participate in the fight at his old age and even more worse the sudden issues he had with his well-being after Mike Tyson was announced to have fallen sick to fight which was a few weeks down the line was planned to be rescheduled with a decision was made following considerations to give Mike Tyson to recover and take proper care before he would step in the ring otherwise the consequences would not be avoided after the fight however not forgetting the fact that even with his old age Mike Tyson's skills still haven't faded away and the fight might still be a replica of what happened in the previous fights Tyson had participated before even after his retirement from the small record claiming that Jake Paul has done nothing in his boxing career to earn a fight with alleged legit Hoff boxer but his strength and fast attack skills against the old legend should be considered before anything else in a statement made by Nick Hissop, but Darian, the co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions, he said that Mike Tyson and Jake Paul signed on to fight each other with the desire to do so in a sanctioned professional fight that would have a definite outcome. He went on to add that over the past weeks, MVP has worked with its partners to satisfy the requirements of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations to sanction Paul versus Tyson. And we're grateful that we have gotten to this point. His statement explained all the rules that were put in place to ensure that even after the fight, 
After the fight, the boxers would still come out physically fit after the fight at S1 boxer has not been able to obtain a visa to come to the US, so we're currently reviewing alternative options for his opponent. But the plan is to try to announce it in the next two weeks. However, the condition has worsened after Mike revealed having more problems with his health in general. Box professionals had different views since the fight was announced as they have been looking into the life history of the legendary boxer even now that the fight might be taken to a later date. The consideration of not canceling the fight was met by different views being that it was one of the year's most unexpected and highly anticipated fights this summer previewing the situation after the fight was announced both fighters made a quick reassurance to the fans that the matchup would proceed as scheduled even after tyson experienced a health scare the announcement from netflix affirming the fight being postponed was not only met by talks from fans but also boxing professionals some in support of the decision and others expressing the anticipation they had among the boxing professionals was still in dennis a critic of paul who reacted to the announcement of the pointless fight being delayed Hey Dennis, call for the event to be cancelled altogether posting on X just cancel the fight it was pointless from the beginning, according to an official announcement for most valuable promotions. The two fight fighters agreed to postpone their bout due to the 57-year-old Tyson's medical concerns. The claims from the ex bellator welterweight came from a series of campaigns that he was next opponent of Jake Paul while attempting to establish himself within the celebrity boxing scene in the midst of talks over the postponement. The news was met with a backflash of words from KSI explaining what he saw the fight by British YouTuber boxer KSI had a surprising reaction after learning about the postponement of the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson. Fight Kai saw this as putting Tyson at a disadvantage over his much younger opponent, even after Netflix decided to delay the match. It's Mike Tyson, oh man, oh man, dude, the amount of people that think I'm fighting Mike Tyson made me think I'm fighting Mike Tyson. Jake Paul released a video on X where he spoke about how disappointed he was by such a development. However, he did state that he would wait for Tyson to recover and still wants to fight him. KSI on the other had had a hearty laugh at the expense of the problem child in a post he wrote on Twitter that 50 plus years old no one wanted this so sad to see the man the explanation that he made proved his dissatisfaction in the fight previewing the fight when KSI knocked out Andre Paul took aim at KSI accusing him of chasing views instead of success in boxing Paul explained I don't know I don't care it's just two different things he is chasing views as a 30 year old man and I'm chasing legacy and belts the flair has stirred up once again seeing Paul fight an older man who was already retired and hasn't participated in a professional fight in about 20 years. KSI and Paul were originally supposed to face each other in August 2023, but his management claimed that Paul's team shunned a fight in favor of taking on UFC star Nate Diaz instead, which stirred up a concern whose flames have again risen up considering the fact that Paul was to fight Tyson in July. Even worse was when the postponement was announced revealing a strike of conversation over the media between KSI and Jake Paul. KSI and Jake Paul were sworn enemies and the pair have always been very vocal about their hate towards each other even now with the Tyson and Paul fight at hand. Ironically, the Brit runs a business with his elder brother, and the dynamic between the three it is very confusing at times. Still, one thing is for sure the problem child and the nightmares beef will only culminate in a fight, especially with the recent talks that are now having about Tyson and Jake KSI may have yet another thing to laugh about as Logan Paul earlier stated that he was done with boxing for a while and was now focusing. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.